file legislative analyst Gabriel Pettig discusses Gov. Gavin Newsom's proposed revised 2021 state budget during a hearing at the state capitol on Thursday, May 26, 2020, in Sacramento, California. Pettig said on Thursday, December 7, 2023 California is facing a $68 billion budget deficit. Sacramento, Calif. California faces a record $68 billion budget deficit. State officials announced Thursday, forcing Democratic Gov. Gavin Newsom, who is trying to build his national profile, to make tough choices in his final term. The country's most populous state, which has the world's fifth largest economy, has been struggling since last year due to rising prices of most goods and services in the U.S. Government trying to control it. It is now much more expensive for people and businesses to borrow money, which means fewer people are buying homes and fewer businesses are hiring workers. This leads to a decrease in the state's tax collection. A series of damaging storms last winter exacerbated the problem. The storms were so bad that state officials decided to give people and businesses more time to pay their taxes this year. Californians did not have to pay their 2022 taxes until November of this year. That meant Newsom and legislature had to draft a budget over the summer without knowing how much money state would need to spend. It turns out that people and businesses have grossly misjudged the amount of tax they will pay. The nonpartisan legislative analyst's office said tax collections fell by $26 billion. A major reason for the shortfall, combined with the economic slowdown California has been facing since last year, this will lead to a $68 billion deficit. Legislative analyst Gabriel Pettick announced Thursday. This is the largest deficit in dollar terms in state history. But previous deficits have been larger as a percentage of state spending. California's current budget exceeds $300 billion. This is by far the largest of all states. Newsom and the state legislature now need to come up with a plan to close this gap. Newsom will present his plan in January and then negotiate with state lawmakers through June. The next budget year starts on July 1. Newsom's first term in office was further buoyed by record-setting surpluses exceeding $100 billion in some years. The money allowed him and his Democratic allies in the state legislature to greatly expand government, including guaranteed health insurance payments for all low-income adults regardless of their immigration status and free lunch for all public school students. Now in his second term, rising budget deficits could threaten some of Newsom's achievements at a time when he is building his national profile, which could lead to a post-2024 presidential run. The legislative analyst's office says its forecasts for 2022-2023 through 20,272,028 show a cumulative deficit of $155 billion. Still, Despite deficits, Newsom and state legislature last year agreed give a lucrative tax break to states film and